Hey guys. Hey guys, I want to talk about why fast pacing is important when it comes to making art, especially nowadays. Now, it takes a lot of time for a project to be done, especially when it's something of good quality. So that one project has to accomplish as much as possible. That's what makes sense. Anyway, you do not want to have, you don't want to spend months working on a project. And then when it comes out, it's just nothing but uh, guys talking to each other, having a cup of coffee. That's, you just wasted Lord knows how much time. This is especially true in modern era. Back in a long time ago, like a long time ago, back in the 90s, no, not even back in the 90s. A long time ago, things didn't used to have big budgets. So the project, it's okay to have a slower pacing because the project didn't take that much time to make in the first place. If you're gonna spend months working on something, you wanna accomplish as much as you can in that one storyline. You want to accomplish as much as you can in that one story life. Like as I make this comic, not more many full pages have been made, but in those few pages, I've accomplished so much. I've given you the backstory. I'm showing off the characters, and you gotta. One way to have fast pacing is multitasking certain things. You can have a scene that is meant to establish two things at once. Now, I think the first Pirate of the Caribbean film does this really well. Remember, you're going to spend months on end working on this. You want to accomplish as much as you can with it. Right, for example. This is how many full panels I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just, just, just eight panels so far. But in those eight panels, we've already learned, we've already given the full backstory for the Chromosomians. We're now being introduced to Switch and all of his character flaws and his strengths and weaknesses as a character. I'm accomplishing so many things in this one panel. And by doing, and one way to have fast pacing is have scenes that are meant to accomplish multiple things at once. Have scenes that accomplish multiple things at once. Let's show up. Because my plan is to get to a point I can consistently produce full length episodes every couple of months for not just switch to gender ninja but other projects when I'm when I'm able to eventually get employees and stuff I'll be able to do that so like look right here how many panels you see right here you see a TV screen showing what's going on then we cut over to switch moving sneaking past the guards spoiler you see Switch, and this part isn't done yet. Switch, still sneaking past the guard, showing off some of his abilities. Just showing off what he can do. <coughs> but you're also seeing some character growth. At the same time, you want to realize why he's breaking into it. And the fact that he's kind of making a lot of noise. So Switch is supposed to be sneaking around. I'm mean, keep my... Switch is supposed to be sneaking around, breaking into this facility, yet he's making so much noise. 
that he's plat. He's sneaking in, plat, bing, that loud noise, bing. Switch is kind of reckless. You can get the subtext, so just look him step to step. Splat, bing. Switch is kind of on the reckless side for someone who's supposed to be sneaky. So not only are we showing off all his abilities, but we're also showing that he kind of has a reckless side to him at the same time. You, I'm establishing so many things with this one scene. That's how you develop fast pacing. And fast pacing is important. You're spending so much time on a project. That project needs to accomplish as much as humanly possible until the next project gets done. You have to multitask with scenes. Accomplish as much as you can. Try to accomplish as much as you can within the project. So, I want y'all to pray for me. I want to get to a point where I can consistently produce full-length episodes every couple months. Every two months or so, a full-length episode. I don't have any employees. Eventually, I think after this comes out, it's going to blow up. And I'm going to start getting employees so I can produce more episodes. Not just for this, but other shows too. But like, see right here, Switch knocks out these two guards. He takes about he takes out these two guards. But then he just leaves the body there. You're supposed to be all sneaky and stuff, yet you're making all these loud noises. You're just leaving the bodies around, being reckless. It shows that Switch is reckless. So you're accomplishing two things. I'm showing how skilled he is. I'm showing how confident he is, while also showing that he's completely reckless at the same time. I'm accomplishing all this at once. This is how you develop fast pacing. Accomplish multiple things at, in one scene. That's how you develop a fast pace. And fast pace is necessary in this day and age. You wonder how shows like... You wonder how a new show can come out and it already has this dedicated fan base because in just a couple episodes... They've established so much of the lore. They've established so much of the characters. They've shown off what the characters can do. They've shown off all the stuff and they did it in such a short amount of time. It's just a dedicated to the craft. Dedication to the craft. You have to get to a point where you can establish multiple things at once. That is your goal. Uh, see you guys later. Like, subscribe. Hey guys, Smooth Video Comics here. Explain why fast pacing is the best. Fast pacing in modern day is the best. It's the best form of pacing because. It takes a lot of time for a project to be made. Like a lot, a lot of time. So when it so when it's done, that project needs to accomplish as much as possible. We see this today and see this today and largely in anime and act in live action, all this stuff. Anything action heavy. They have to have lots of plot threads and stuff. So you need to accomplish as much as you can with this one project. Pacing nowadays is super important. Now, a lot of people complain that anime pacing is too fast and stuff. And it is. But you gotta realize, they need to accomplish a lot of things in just this one project. You need to establish their characters, their motives, all that stuff, and that's just for pilot. Like, especially when it comes to superheroes. Like, in the first episode of Switch of Gender Ninja, I need to accomplish, I need to establish what his motives are, I need to establish his personality traits, I need to tell you everything there is to, to know about him in just this one episode. So in just this one episode, I need to establish everything there is to know about Switch. So fast pacing is important. Now it's gonna take 
But for comic books, it takes uh, months for a comic to be made. So you don't want a you don't want a comic to be made and it's just a bunch of people standing around and nothing happening. Like you spent how much time on just this? This is what you spent all that time for. You want to accomplish something. Now, apparently, as I create this, Switch the Gender Ninja is going to have some competition. Ronma One Half is getting a remake. Ron, so when this comes out, I need to establish as much as possible. Now, I know I'm probably not going to be up there with anime guys. Probably not. Not now. Give it about a few years. Then it can get a cartoon based off of it. Go to One Punch Man. Out. So, I want to, if you know about Ronma One Half, tell me about your thoughts below. So, tell me what you guys think below. Like, subscribe. Remember, fast pacing the best. You gotta establish as much things as possible. Like, subscribe. See you guys later.